Time in a capsule just doesn't exist. It keeps moving forward despite us trying to resist. When we look beyond its ever gaining speed, we risk not being in the moment where life fully wants us to be. So how do we measure what happens today? How do we grasp this peak, this moment, and make it stay? We pause, we count our blessings, we look for the rhythm and listen for the rhyme, and we capture eternity in this one moment in time. Today is a day to make my shoes even, you know what I mean? If I'm gonna tie my shoes in a good way, may as well do it today. Woo! Now for any of you other fathers of daughters, when potential suitors start courting our little princesses, there are some basic things that we as fathers notice that form a first impression. Grooming, their car, education, a job, whether they have one or not. So imagine this call. Hey, Dad. I just started seeing this guy. And by the way, his spine was broken in an accident, and he's paralyzed from the waist down, and he's in a wheelchair, and he'll never walk again. And he's really cool. So, what does a dad say to that? In 1 Samuel, we're told that the Lord does not look at things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Anyone who knows Christy knows that she has the heart of an angel, truth. And she looked past the outward appearance and she looked into David's heart. And there she found the heart of a lion, El Corazón de un León. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There was a fighter. I have to believe that joining together Christie's heart of an angel and David's heart of a lion will bring only good things for many years to come. I have the heart of a lion. There's a spirit inside of my bones that makes me lie. My dearest David. My truest, my sweet, my love. <laughs> Unlike some girls, I never really dreamed about my wedding day. I spent more time daydreaming about my Prince Charming. <laughs> I dreamed he would be six feet tall, like my dad, which you are. I dreamed he would make me laugh and adventure with me. You cherish all my isms. <laughs> you think I'm funny. <laughs> Yeah. And I think you're funny. <laughs> and neither of us is funny. Strength to survive. Here we go. To my suite. I'm all of a sudden super nervous. That was this morning. And I'm still nervous. This is real. This is happening. I can't believe it. I knew that you would be my wife since the trip you took to Knoxville. After I dropped. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> It's like a cry laugh, so it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> I haven't told her how I lost the hope to love and be a lover. I haven't shown her all the tears I've had. I promise to live for the kingdom of God as a team. I wholeheartedly believe our union has a higher purpose. Come on. Yeah. We are meant to do something great in this world together. Amen. I promise to put you before myself, to actually love you like Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. In the words of some indie artist, <laughs> take a step with me. We can do this. You will see. Let's see the world. You and I. I love you so much, Christy. 
It is now my incredible honor, by the power invested in me, <laughs> by the state of California, to pronounce the two of you as husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, can we guess? The Platieros. Give him a big kiss. Yeah. <laughs> She believes in me